obsessed with the sexual aspect aspect of it. No, you just said that you've just you said are, there you are, are specific. You're, disre- you're disregarding my point, which is about mobbing and I'm not. bullying. Do you at know work. what's happening, Jason? I'm not disregarding anything. I've been speaking to you for nearly eight minutes. Good afternoon. Um, I haven't called before, and you're probably not going to like what I've got to say. But what I, the point I would like to make is this topic of sexual harassment, harassment at work, in my view, has elements of positive, you know, ideas behind it in terms of preventing, you know, problems for people at work. However, it's increasingly over the years taken on, in my view, a purely feminist sort of um, another one of these politically inspired lines which are about weapons to bring men to account. And what do I mean by this? Well, we've got laws against sexual assault. We've got laws against violence, which are both very rare in the modern workplace. We're no longer in the Benny Hill era of of, of modern workplaces. And what we seem to have now... Sorry, what are you saying is very rare? Sexual violence... Sexual violence and sexual assault at work is very rare. Okay. Um, what is more, much more common in modern workplaces, in my view, is um, bullying at workplaces, mobbing in workplaces, which is often done in a very, um, a very mobbing. underhand pass- mobbing. It's called mobbing in the workplace, where you have a group of people ganging up against An individual, one person. Yeah, yeah. And, and this is very underhand. And it's very um, difficult to detect. So, often can I just say, so is a lot of sexual a, assault, got, got, very underhand. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on let, let, well, you can say what, what you want to say. I'm not talking... As I said, there, there's a law against sexual assault. There's a law against violence. If sexual assault, in the rare cases it happens at work, was to happen, somebody just needs to call the police and that will be it. In the cases of mobbing, and then I want, want to go and talk about sexual harassment. Now, sexual harassment, as it's defined, need not to do anything to do with sex. It is merely a term used to basically enable certain people to claim that on grounds of their sex, they have been offended in the workplace. So it can be something as a mere comment, a mere allegation, uh, a false allegation indeed, because it's very difficult to to protect against those things. And the final point I'd like to make is, what is needed at work is a general bullying anti-mobbing law that will look, that that could apply equally no matter who the victim is, no matter how, who the perpetrator is, whether they're mm. women, men, non-white, white, Muslim, whatever it might be. Mm. Why? Because that's the only way you're going to get a level playing field. And I'm convinced and I know beyond any doubt that the laws you're talking about now are more labour-inspired, double-standard laws, dreamt up by sort of well-off lawyers in, in, uh, who only speak to themselves about the same things and don't actually live in the real world. Do you mean world. the law that Gillian they, talked and about? They, and, they, and they don't... Well, you don't need on, to shout every time I speak, uh, Jason. Do you, Sorry. Yeah, when you're referring to the I'm, law... I'm going to be accused of man's Well, well, on, well you're just shouting yeah. when I speak, so, which is strange. Right, right. Um, I, uh, well, I, um, so when I, you talk I, about the laws, I, are you talking about yeah. the law that Gillian Howard, my guest, alluded to? I don't know. I don't know what law she's talking about, but I because I haven't looked at them. But I can guarantee you. But you're just telling me you know that they're talking, unnecessary. So I'm just checking. I which know law the existing laws, yes, because the existing sexual harassment laws have their background in U.S. civil rights laws and were originally there to deal with. Pre, uh, they were originally there to do with what's called pro, quid pro quo harassment, which is basically where people were demanding sexual favors for jobs. It then got expanded under all this feminist mantra in the U.S to cover what they call a hostile work environment, which basically includes offence of any sort of mm. kind on, as declared by the person on, 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 on receipt of that offence. And in the UK, over many years, that, sl- that, that sort of idea of being offended, I don't like what you say kind of thing, has now been expanded and expanded and expanded and expanded. It's ongoing. There's whole 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 sort of law firms with probably departments on it. And so, and it goes on in wider areas, not just this area. So, for example, we've been talking about two-tier care, you know, and how he wants to criminalise people who uh, sort of criticise certain things that he doesn't like being criticised. It's all part of that. All I'm saying is, if you're going to have those kind of subjective laws, they need to be equal. Everybody needs to be equal before the law. So they need to be drafted in such a way that it's not only women who can deceive, or, or a certain aggrieved women who can be protected, or not only... Uh, but that's a, that's already the case, uh, Jason. It's already the case. No, it's, it's not. It, well, well, well you, can you, I explain... Are, can I, I'm going to put your mic down because you don't know how to have a conversation. Um, I'll come back. I'll open it again. I just need to say something. Um, you... 
the laws that exist at the moment, let's use the example I gave about myself at work 10, 12 years ago. If I had been a man and that man was doing and saying the same things to me, I could have used sexual harassment in the workplace laws to deal with it. It's, it's not just for women. It's there for men as well. Your right. turn. Well, you, you, say that, you say that, but in practice, I know I have been in various uh, positions in my life. I've, uh, at time, I've been criticised from a whole range of reasons um, and insulted. And I can guarantee you, if I was to try, uh, uh, by women, shall I say, um, but not only women, and if I was to um, claim that I had been subject to a hostile environment and claim sexual harassment on the ground, say it was women doing it to me, there's no way, or gay people doing it to me, there's no way uh, I would be able to... How do you know? Did you ever try? I, no, no, because I don't, I don't see the point, to be honest, because mm. I, I, I have seen how it happened. The other thing, of course, I, th I think you're disregarding my point is the law needs to apply regardless. It, everybody needs to be equal before the law. These are Equality Act ideas and these, you know, focusing on certain aspects of, 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 of bad behaviour at work are merely about preferencing certain people and victimising others. And it's very difficult... When people, there's a lot of false accusations that go on, you know, people claim to be offended for this, that and that reason. And what happens, companies, they're so afraid of having to pay a fee. If I was a wealthy company, I wouldn't listen to but many if a of woman, these if a woman, which are frivolous. Which are frivolous. If a woman was if, being assaulted... Well, oh, I'll sorry, finish my I, own I, sentence, I if that's OK, Jason. If a woman verbally or sexually assaulted me in this office, I would complain about her too. It's not about the gender of the person in this instance. I mean... Right. I, I would guess that it is more men being sexually inappropriate to women in the office than the other I way around. I, I, I might be know. wrong. I'm I might be wrong. Yeah, I, I'm, I don't know. I'm not but the law is equal for, for you office. and me on this. No, it, well, it's not. As I said, there needs to be... Right. The, the Just because you don't use a law doesn't mean it's not there for you, Jason. The, the law... I don't know why you're just... OK, let me put it to you. Do you think there should be an anti-mobbing, anti-bullying law that should apply to everybody regardless of their characteristics? I think there should be, uh, in, in, within the workplace you're talking about here, I think there should certainly yes, be anti-bullying. Yes. I've, I've only just heard of mobbing, but uh, anti-bullying, anti-mobbing um, uh, right. uh, policies in every workplace. Absolutely, I do. Right, right. And, and should it be the law in the law? Should it be in the law or only some sort of, you know, guidance? Well, harassment is already there. And I think you could definitely yeah. put... Uh, bullying and mobbing under harassment, probably. Yeah. And yeah, there's already well, law on that. Well, this is the thing. And, and, and it's not. And the reason it's it not is. in law, mobbing, uh, and re it's not. Harassment it's not is. And that, harassment, yeah, but that's very different. And, and it's not. In the sense that it, it's it, not. It, 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 well, it may not be very different, but it's not different at all. If at I'm all. in the workplace and somebody does or says something to me and I ask them not to, and then they do it again, legally, that is harassment at that point. Right. If I okay, but if I and a couple of my mates sabotage you at work, go, ra go around creating rumours about you, mm -hmm. slagging you off uh, in front of you, they're making you look incompetent. That's over slander and, and harassment. Time, such, hang on, hang on, hang on. Well, you've asked me. On, That's such, slander and harassment. On, yeah, hang on. Such that you end up, um, um, you know, getting uh, 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 suffering financially and otherwise in the workplace. There's nothing that can be done about it, even though it true. might be a preordained, even though it might be a preordained campaign of, of passive aggressive harassment. And that's why I, I, I suggest what you do. If you don't know what mobbing is, look it up on the internet or book. People have written books about it. It's a very feminised, passive aggressive. But a form of bullying that does not involve violence usually does not involve um, you know uh, feminized harassment uh, yeah feminized because it's very passive aggressive it's not it's not overtly aggressive you know we don't we don't live we, in most people but by, not, by that you mean it's mainly women by, doing it yeah or, or, or feminized men yeah yeah feminized men also, or, 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 yeah yeah now yeah, yeah basically because because most because most men um in the, in the normal sense of the word don't don't sort of um, resort to those things, uh, and, and they might be muscular men, but they still um, people. People don't. Most right-thinking people don't do these things. But um, and well, most right-thinking people that, don't do any of the things you and I are talking about. Do they? Yeah, but, but you're you're missing. Okay, you you, don't, you 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 won't answer me. Your your focus is on one aspect of what I call of mobbing and bullying at work. Sexual harassment is one stream of that. 
We've talked it's about a lot of things. Same, I'm not under, focusing on just under, one thing. You are. It's under the umbrella of bullying really mobbing. Not. You've, you've acknowledged that we don't have bullying mobbing works that apply, uh, we have harassment. That apply to everyone. We have harassment, but harass. You go to an employer and say you're being mobbed or bullied at work. Unless I, well, if I wanted a legal response, on, I'd call on, it harassment. Are, let me please let me finish. Yeah, okay. You go to your workplace as a man and say you're subject to mobbing or bullying at work. Unless you are uh, under one of these so-called protected characteristics, or unless there's some kind of illegal harassment, like the Protection of Harassment Act, that might be proven, they will, they will, they might say they've got policies on bullying and mobbing at work, but nothing will be done. But sexual harassment no protections why, 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 are not on. just for women. I don't know how many times I have to say this. Sexual harassment protections are not just for women. I would put it to you that they probably need recourse to it more than men. Not exclusively, but more than men. But it's not a law that is exclusively for women. You're obsessed with the sexual harassment aspect of it. No, and I'm not. You've just said, that you've just you said are, there you are, are specific... You're, disre you're disregarding my point, which is about mobbing and I'm not. bullying Do you know work. what's happening, Jason? I'm not disregarding anything. I've been speaking to you for nearly eight minutes. I, I am merely saying things that you don't want me to say. That's very different from disregarding what you're saying. If what you want to hear from me is, thank you for calling, O oh wise one, you have taught me everything I need to know about this subject, well, you'll wait a long time before you hear it. I'm not disregarding anything you're saying. I'm giving Please, it loads of airtime. Get out those ivory towers. Thank you. Thank you. OK, thanks. I'm in an ivory tower. <sighs> Oof. Jason's left us there to plait his hair.